Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got my 22 Lowrider ST out. This motorcycle has got about 500 miles on it. Now I also have a Street Glide, a 2021 Street Glide, and this motorcycle is almost 200 pounds lighter than my Street Glide. So I've really gotten used to the weight difference at this point and the maneuverability of the motorcycle. We're gonna be talking about that. My body frame, I'm about 5'9", and this motorcycle fits me perfect. So what about when the bike is stationary? Is it easy to move? If you're a smaller rider and you're a smaller frame person, I don't think you're gonna have any problems at all. I recently had a Harley Davidson Sportster S. I was able to move that motorcycle wherever I wanted it, and it, this one is just like that. Very easy to move around, to push around when I'm off the bike or sitting on it. The uh, maneuverability when the bike is stationary is no problem at all because of the light weightness of the motorcycle. So I don't think you'll have any issues. All right, we are out and about on the Lowrider ST, battling just a little bit of sprinkles and, and drizzle. Not, not bad at all. So we're gonna talk about first up, let's talk about around town riding. And this is gonna provide a great example right here about the Lowrider ST. As I mentioned, I am 5'9", and when I come to a complete stop, I'm able to put both feet on the ground just fine. No problems at all right there. So the height of the motorcycle is not an issue for me. Hopefully it's it's not for you as well. Uh, now let's see, as far as far as like going red light to red light, there's not a lot of that out where I live. Um, especially what I would call city riding, you know, around town riding out through here. Um, you don't really go just from point A to point B. Even where I live, you know, there's there's twisties involved. Just going from place to place in town. Uh, so I don't do a lot of stoplight to stoplight. But I will say tell you this: the motorcycle shifts through the gears effortlessly at slow speeds or if you're really trying to get up to uh, a, you know a high rate of speed you're not going to have any problems there the motorcycle is completely smooth and the mid controls fit me just fine with my leg position i'm, I'm really comfortable um, it's just like you know normal normal seating position roundabout here this is a cool little road and you know I mentioned twisties just a couple of minutes ago or whatever and one of the interesting things that I, I looked up on Harley's website about the lowrider ST is the lean angle so the lean angle on this motorcycle is 31.3 degrees the lean angle on my street glide is 31.3 degrees exactly the same I found that interesting because with this motorcycle, man, I'm telling you, you really feel like you dip down in the curves and uh, that you can lean this motorcycle over and lean it some more and lean it some more. It's really comfortable, super lightweight, especially in nice little twists and turns like this. Oh man, it operates fabulously. And it's so much different than battling a 900 pound bagger, you know? I mean, when my street glide's going down the road, it's balanced well, it's, it, it's great, nothing bad to say about it, but this motorcycle, even if you're, you know, again, a smaller framed motorcycle rider, you're going to be able to throw this motorcycle around in the turns and really lean and get going with it. It's a super maneuverable and easy, easy to handle, smooth as glass. All right, we're getting into more of a residential area. Got to back her down a notch or two. All right, 
right, so let's talk about taking this motorcycle out on the highway. Now I would go ahead and head over there and take this motorcycle out, but I'm enjoying these nice little country roads and the, the freeway's way, way over that way. I don't want to deal with that right now. So I'm going to tell you about it. If you have never had this motorcycle out on the freeway, man, you are in for a treat. Again, my street glide, great wind deflection on it, no doubt about it, but there is always some buffeting, you know? My head's always getting bounced around a little bit. Now there's a bunch of different factors. Maybe that's just not the motorcycle. It could be my seat height, it could be how I'm sitting, it could be my helmet, a number of factors. But I'm telling you, none of that comes into play on this motorcycle. None of it whatsoever. You get this bike out on the freeway, you get into higher speeds, and this fairing will put you in a cocoon of air, or not a lot of air, whatever, however you want to classify it. But it is absolutely fabulous. The wind deflection on this motorcycle, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, is probably better no that's no, not probably it is the best wind deflection on any motorcycle that i've ever been on 